this is about the dissection of the back here we have given incision from the external of the protuberance in the midline till the t12 spine of the t12 vertebra how to identify the t12 vertebra is you have to feel the inferior angle of the scapula so at the level of the inferior angle of the scapula you'll have the t7 rib so correspondingly we have t7 spine t8 t9 t10 t11 and t12 we have to count it like this up to t12 vertebra and uh, another from here t12 vertebra spinal t12 vertebra you have to go obliquely towards the deltoid tuberosity of the humerus we have to give the second incision and third incision is at the level of the c7 vertebra from the c7 vertebra horizontally towards the acromion process so give the incisions like this and we have reflected the skin on the lateral side like this way and after removing the skin along with the skin itself it has come the superficial fascia and the deep fascia here it is very thick here and in the superficial fascia we always know that it is having the cutaneous veins and the cutaneous nerves the cutaneous nerves are nothing but the dorsal uh, primary ramae of the spinal nerves so after reflecting this uh, skin superficial fascia deep fascia along with the skin we will see the muscles called as the trapezius muscle the trapezius muscle and this trapezius muscle on either side if you observe it is resembling a shape called as trapezium so that is why it is called as a trapezius and not only that in the lower part you will see the latissimus dorsi muscle also so these are the superficial muscles trapezius and the latissimus dorsi so right now we are concerned about the trapezius so if you observe this one origin of the trapezius it takes origin from the uh, medial two thirds of the superior nuchal line and also the external oxyl protuberance and ligamentum nuke c7 vertebra and spines of the uh, thoracic vertebra t1 to t12 and supraspinous ligaments and insertion of this trapezius muscle is it has three uh, attachments here one is at the level of the you can see here you can identify the scapula here you have the medial border of the scapula this is the spine and the spine is having continuous as the acromion process so spine is having so the trapezius muscle gets inserted into the triangular area at the level of the spine and also to the upper border of the spinous process and to the medial margin of the acromion process and third attachment is to the lateral one third of the clavicle that to posterior border of the lateral one third of the clavicle so these are the attachments of the trapezius and nerve supply is spinal axillary nerve and uh, proprioceptive fibers are from the ventral ramus of c3 and c4 and its action is elevation forward rotation and then retraction of the scapula so this is about the trapezius muscle if you reflect the trapezius just like that you have latissimus dorsi also it takes origin from the t7 t12 vertebra and not only that it also arises from thoracolumbar fascia and outer lip of the iliac crest it takes origin and in and also from the inferior angle of the scapula and insertion of the latissimus dorsi is into the floor of the intertubercular sulcus floor of the intertubercular sulcus of the humerus so if you observe here in between the trapezius and the latissimus dorsi you can see a triangle here that is called a triangle of auscultation so this triangle of auscultation boundaries are medially you have the trapezius lateral border of trapezius and uh, laterally you have the medial border of the scapula and inferiorly it is having the latissimus dorsi this forms the triangle of auscultation that means it contains only the c uh, sorry 6th uh, and 7th ribs you'll have directly and uh, if it is on the uh, uh, left side you can see the cardiac end of the cardiac orifice of the stomach so if you put the stethoscope there on the triangle of auscultation you can feel the sounds of the food we take inside the into the mouth so this is called as a triangle of auscultation now going to the dissection of the back so you have uh, cut the trapezius 5 cm lateral to the midline 5 cm lateral to the midline you have seen the trapezius and uh, we have cut it in midline here and we have reflected it laterally like this so under the trapezius muscle you, the structures we see here are the spinal accessory nerve if you observe here this is the spinal accessory nerve spinal accessory nerve and artery is superficial branch of the transverse cervical artery superficial branch of transverse cervical artery and this is the spinal accessory nerve it supplies the trapezius and deep to that you have three muscles called as the levator scapulae and then rhomboidus minor and rhomboidus major muscle so levator scapulae attachment is see here you can see this is the levator scapulae muscle 
So this levator scapulae muscle takes origin from the transverse process of upper four cervical vertebra and insertion into the superior angle, superior angle of the scapula here, superior angle of the scapula. So here you have this is the medial border of the scapula. Here the angle is the superior angle, this one, and here even the bone is this one. So this is about the levator scapulae and rhomboidus minor, rhomboidus minor and major take origin from the C7 and T1 is by the rhomboidus minor and from the T2 to T5 is by the rhomboidus major and insertion of this minor is attached to the spine, root of the spine of the scapula here and uh, that is here and rhomboidus major muscle inserts into the medial border, most of the medial border of the scapula that is nothing but the from the root of the spine to the inferior angle, from the root of the spine to the inferior angle. So these three muscles are levator scapulae and rhomboidus minor muscle and this is a rhomboidus major muscle and here these three muscles are supplied by the dorsal scapular nerve. So dorsal scapular nerve is a branch from the root of the brachial plexus. So you can see this is a dorsal scapular nerve supplying the levator scapulae, this one levator scapulae and rhomboidus minor and major muscles, dorsal scapular nerve. Along with that one you also see an artery called as the deep branch of transverse cervical artery. So you can see along with that one veins also. So deep branch of the transverse cervical artery and the dorsal scapular nerve. They pass under the rhomboidus minor and major. These dorsal scapular nerve supplies the levator scapulae, rhomboidus minor and the major. So this is about the and the actions of this levator scapula is the name itself indicates that it is uh, elevates the scapula whereas rhomboidus minor and major is it retracts the scapula backwards. So these are the functions of the levator scapulae minor and major. So this is about the door section of the back. Trapezius, levator scapulae, rhomboidus minor and rhomboidus major.